I have not been able to sort of zero in on your position on this one question. Does your plan cover the estimated 12 million or so illegal immigrants in the country? Uh, it does not. There are also those who claim that our reform efforts would ensure illegal immigrants. This, too, is false. The reforms, the reforms I'm proposing would not apply to those who are here illegally. It's not true. In tonight's Fox 17 Waste Watch investigation, the IRS has given three quarters of a billion tax dollars to illegal immigrants. It is all in a report released this month saying the money has been given in the form of Obamacare subsidies. Fox 17's Erica Curry shows us this money is handed over without any proof of citizenship. Part of it is hard-earned money from those of us right here in the mid-state. Celebrating seven years of business at the Cupcake Collection in Germantown. But the side of the business that's not so sweet, filing taxes. It's crazy, and the more that you make, the more you have to, the more you have to pay. And that's what billions of businesses and households across the country are doing right now, getting ready to pay Uncle Sam. But billions of dollars in the taxes we pay are going to the wrong people. And a new report this month adds illegal immigrants to the list. We're talking about five hundred thousand um, individuals who are unverified immigration status that have received this service. The Senate Homeland Security Committee released this report saying the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services gave about $750 million in Obamacare subsidies and then after payment they failed to prove their citizenship or legal residency status. Health and Human Services has since removed these people from getting Obamacare but it's frustrating for taxpayers that our money is long gone. When we as taxpayers make mistakes on our taxes, we're penalized for those things. And so what is the penalty that our government is going to pay back to us, the taxpayers? Health and Human Services says it's working to get that money back, but that's an idea Congressman Black is not buying. The law does say that, that IRS can go and retrieve this money. We know by history this money will never be retrieved. Erica Curry, Fox 17 News. Congressman Black is demanding to know what's being done by the Department of Health and Human Services to get that money back. And she's also working on a bill that would not allow subsidy payments without verification and trying to get more of her colleagues in support.